Welcome, in front of me is a Xiaomi 12 Pro and today I will show you how you can record a screen on this phone. So to get started, pull down your toggles from the right side and let's extend it and look for our toggle for the screen recording. Okay, so for me it's right over here. Now this is the default orientation of all the toggles, so hopefully you can find your toggle in the same exact location. Once you find it, you can either tap on it to start recording right away, or you can also hold it to check out the settings that are set by the manufacturer by default. So as we can see, we have things like resolution, which 1080p is the highest one. Uh, on top of that, I would just recommend keeping the resolution as it is, just because 720p uh, on like typical monitor might look a little bit pixelated. Then we have video quality, which is set to 16 megabits, I probably would change it to 24. Uh, the difference in quality uh, can be observed sometimes if it's too low. So I would recommend finding the uh, the sweet spot where it's not pixelating anymore, but it is uh, it's not high. Because going further up, so obviously 16 megabits and up, uh, you will be increasing the size of the recording per minute so if normally for instance one minute at 16 megabits i would take you one gigabyte by basically going to 32 which is double of uh, 16 it would be taking two gigabytes instead still for a single minute of recording so make sure you don't go like a hundred because obviously uh, you get diminished returns from it um, and the way you can test it if if you have it set for instance in a good or good megabits per second is when you start recording and the actual like megabits are too low you will see that that when you move a screen and stop moving the image will not be as clear as it's supposed to be on a recording for about like a second or so till it catches that uh, the focus uh, when it's not being moved anymore so that is the way you can define if your megabits are too low i will actually set it down to the lowest just so I can see uh, later on, once I record this on the video, how it came out. Orientation, keep it as it is. Then we have uh, sound source, you can choose between a mute, mic or system, it's up to you. And then last option, we have frame rate. We do have actually a, a weirdly option for 90 frames, which it, it's weird to be honest, like I either go for 120 or don't bother. Because the reason for me saying this is this phone supports 120 hertz refresh rate. So if I'm going to be playing this back on this phone, I could be utilizing that higher refresh rate. But if I'm planning to upload it somewhere else, then I'm going to be most of the time capped by 60. For instance, YouTube. YouTube doesn't do anything above uh, 60, I think. So 90 just serves no purpose. Also, 90 is like in between, which again is kind of meh. And obviously, because it's 90 her uh, frames, it will also take more storage space, which is the same thing. Anything from 50 going down, uh, obviously it's gonna be taking more and more space uh, per minute. Same as with this option. Uh, though, for the frame rate, I do recommend to go either for 30 or 60, depending on what you're gonna be recording. If you're recording something like I am going to be right now, an uh, informative video, then 30 should be good enough. But if you're planning to record gameplays, go for 60. And then we have a couple of toggles for like max screen to end recording and so on. So you can choose these at your will. So now that we went through the settings, we can now go back to the toggle, tap on it. It will give us an overlay right here, which won't be visible on the recording. So keep that in mind. And we have obviously the record button, the folder, which will take us to the uh, recordings of the video. They can also be found in the gallery. So it's kind of useless here. We have the settings button, which we can also access by holding the toggle like I did at the beginning. And then obviously close. So I'm going to start recording right now. Let's say that this is good enough. So I'm going to stop the recording. Uh, it gives us a pop-up that it's now saved. Let's close this. And we're going to now navigate to gallery just so we can play it back. There we go, videos, and there it is.
So going back to the megabits uh, per second, it looks like 16 is barely there. You can kind of see just a tiny bit of just like wonkiness to it. Quickly just. Oh, come on, are you serious? There we go. No, it is not visible when I'm trying to kind of like show a frame of it, which is weird. Uh, but while it was moving, you could, uh, on the recording, you can kind of see that the the text uh, on the apps when it was being flipped. In motion, it was a little, it's almost perfect, but almost there. Uh, so, like I said, instead of using the 16, I use probably a 24 and you should be golden. I don't think you will see any kind of like uh, degradation of image there. So there we go. That's the that's the toggle, the video recording along with its settings. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.